hello guys welcome back to our page and thank you so much for joining the platform today please if you find our content interesting do not forget please do not forget it is very very important like this video for us and also share to one person so that when next we do the next one they are equally going to like do not forget to follow our page and write a review on our page thank you so much so today's video i want to give us updates and the updates i'm talking about is from now cyprus now cyprus has introduced what we call a double transit visa or transit visa has been introduced to now cyprus now let me take you a little backwards um about some years ago i don't want to say a few years back um for you to travel to now cyprus as an african well it depends on the african country you just needed to pay your tuition or to get an admissions pay your tuition fee then you start moving for example as cameroonians there was nothing like okay to board transit visa visit visa or any visa in as much as you are an international student already and you have been registered in a cyprus university you just had the right to start moving cameroonians the same but if you are from places like congo Nigeria, you needed OK to board. But as I speak right now, the procedure is actually different. The process have changed. So there is something that has been introduced. It is called a double transit visa. About uh, 2016, in around 2016, when I was moving to North Cyprus, I had a visa. I went to the Turkish embassy and I took a transit visa. By then, um, the person who was processing our visa told us that we do not need to pay anything. We do not need any visa. But we, because we were scared, okay, that what if we go there and something, then they gave us a transit visa. We we're just applying. We didn't even know the type of visa we needed. So they gave us a transit visa. But now, if you want to move now, you have to go back to the same Turkish embassy and collect what is called a double transit visa. Now, it is double transit visa, not a single transit visa. All right, double transit means that you have to use it to enter Turkey and probably you use it when you are leaving Turkey. This is now the process. Guys, pay attention to this. And there are a lot of documents involved. In another video, I'm going to tell you about the documents that you need to apply for the double transit visa. But as of now, for you to go to North Cyprus, you need a double transit visa. Where is North Cyprus? It is found in the Mediterranean Sea, south of Turkey and east of Greece. And this is an island of less than 2 million inhabitants. This is the time. I think the population of North Cyprus is made up of a lot of foreigners. Universities are cheap in this island and a whole lot of other things. If you've been watching me on YouTube, by the way, if you are new to this page, my YouTube channel will be found up here. You can check it, check me on YouTube and follow our videos. They are very important. And of course, we are going to be sharing a lot of stuff there. I hope you understand. So understand that this is how now Cyprus is and how you can go about the process. There are a lot of things, international students, a lot of good universities. Okay. But remember that if you are going to now Cyprus without a sponsor, it is going to be very, very difficult for you. I have been talking about these things for a long period of time and i believe you should look into it before you start moving to now cyprus guys please share this video till we meet again in another one and if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me please let me know all right so that you can book a consultation with a consultation i'm going to call you direct on call then we talk about this thing i hope you understand I'm going to be making an update on the documents that you need to apply for your double transit visa if you are new to this page or if you are just watching this video, I have a video on my YouTube channel up here. If you follow that channel, you are going to see that I have a video where I said those who were using OK to board to move to Northern Cyprus, they are now going to be using what is called a double transit visa. The Turkish government have updated the system. So as a Nigerian, as a student from the Democratic Republic of Congo, as a Kenyan and other nationalities, you have to apply for a double transit visa from the Turkish embassy. Make sure you find out all those informations before you start moving to North Cyprus from now that you watch this video and also ask your university. And with that, I'm going to be telling you some of the documents you need to apply for the double transit visa. One, remember that there are about 57 countries that need this visa to enter into North Cyprus. 
or Northern Cyprus, O T R N C. It is called Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. All right. Now, also understand that schools in this country are quite affordable, like more, not like the UK and Canada. If you do not have money, but this country is not that flexible. I'm going to make a video in another. Uh, I'm going to make another video to explain to you a lot of things you need to know. Now, let's talk about the documents for the double transit visa first of all, and I'll be listing them in any order. So please stay tuned and watch till the end. If you find my content interesting, please like the video and also share it to one person so that they can benefit from this free knowledge. That's the only way you can encourage me to bring more content to you about study abroad opportunities. My name is Milton. For those who don't know me, I'm the anointed village boy from Cameroon. Thank you. So the first document you need is the application form. You are going to get that from the Turkish Embassy's website or maybe the external service provider for visas to Turkey. Now, document number two is a paid travel insurance. You have to pay your insurance to apply for this double transit visa. Document number three is a copy of your, um, your passport data page, which is I'm talking about your international passport. There, are, there was a time someone was asking me if he needs a passport to apply for school. Yes, you need a passport. I understand not everybody knows this, but you need a passport in order to apply for any school or any visa. That is your travel document. Then you also need two biometric photos. You are going to verify the dimensions from the Turkish embassy or from the website of the Turkish embassy. Then you need a bank statement. This bank statement can come from your uh, sponsor and remember, your sponsor should be your father, your mother, or brother or sister. If it's your uncle, you need to prove beyond reasonable doubt by showing birth certificates and other documents. Then you also need a flight reservation. You have to reserve your flight. Booking.com will do enough for you. You also need a valid criminal record. This is going to come from the law enforcement officials, the police station I am talking about. Then you need your conditional offer and your unconditional letter from the school first one is the conditional offer most conditions in most schools in out cyprus will be that pay a tuition deposit of maybe 1000 euros or 1500 then when you do that payment you are going to get your own conditional letter which you are going to use to move for cameroonians you don't need this visa but as it stands right now like i said check the turkish embassy's website the next thing you need is your payment receipt the tuition you are paying you need to keep the receipt you need a motivation letter. Why are you moving to this particular country? Remember, before I proceed, I have always said that and I will keep saying it again. If you do not have money, if you do not have a sponsor, do not go to North Cyprus. But if you have the money and you are looking for cheaper areas, you can go. Anybody telling you that degrees in North Cyprus are not recognized is a big fat lie. I am the one telling, this, telling you this today. Quote me anywhere. There are schools in North Cyprus you should enroll in. I'm going to be telling you about those schools very soon. You also need a proof of accommodation. You also need notarized sponsorship letter. Remember, you said the person sponsoring you is your father or mother. So let them notarize your sponsorship letter and give it to you. You also need a copy of your birth certificate. And if you are going for bachelor's degree, you need your high school documents, your O-levels, A-levels, your YEC, your WESI, depending on where you are coming from. And these copies, these documents have to be notarized at the level of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Very important. They are trying to scrap out all the fake, fake people or the jig, jig, jig documents. Then if you are going for masters, you need a copy of your BSc and the transcript and the other documents from high school. PhD, masters, bachelor's, high school. That is how it is. All notarized or let me say all certified or authenticated okay because notarization is different authentication is different but make sure they go through your university and ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs it is clear right thank you then you also need your 60 dollars for the application fee to apply for the double transit visa before you could get a transit visa but now it's a double transit visa which means that you have to go through in then you return back i hope you understand so these are the documents you need to apply for it if you are new to this page thank you for joining my name is milton please like our video if you love our content and do not forget to share with one individual if this video makes a lot of sense to you today's video i want to talk on universities in austria 
that do not require legalization. If you do not know the process of legalization, let me explain before I proceed to these universities. Legalization simply means that you have to confirm the originality of your certificate. And that is how Austria do it. There are schools in Austria that will not need this legalization before you apply for admissions. And I have dropped a video on my YouTube channel. So please make sure you check my YouTube channel. And there are others that will ask you to show legalization or legalized documents to them before they can give you an offer letter or before they can look at your admissions documents to give you an, an admissions or an offer. Now, also understand that some of these universities may not ask you for legalization now, but when they, are, when they give you the admissions, they may tell you to show them legalized documents before they will now change your admissions from conditional to unconditional before you can apply for visa. Also remember that these schools may not ask you for legalization for the application stage or the admission stage, but that does not mean that the embassy will accept that. For you to apply for a visa, it's not a visa by the way, it is a residence permit to Austria, you need to do what is called legalization of all your educational credentials. Now, if you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Milton, please like this video and share with one person if you find the content useful. Like I said, Austria is a country in the European Union and Austria is equally a member of the Schengen zone. Do you equally know that you can move with a family or your family, your wife, your children to Austria? If yes, follow my YouTube channel and watch more videos. I will be explaining more on this, chat, on this page. Now, let's take a look at the universities. Since you already know these details, let's look at it. The first one I'm going to be talking about is Vienna University of Economics and Business. This particular university is located in the city of Vienna. And if you want to study in this school, I would like to tell you that bachelor's degree students, there is a program in this school and it is taught in English language at bachelor's level. I think it's business, economics and business, something like that. Then the other two programs at bachelor's level are taught in both English and German. So if you want to apply, make sure you apply. You are going to upload a copy of an English document, which you are going to find on the school website. And you are going to write three sections for motivation letter. I speak from facts. I have done application in this school before. So please check the school. If I'm doing anything, I will tell you. If you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, please, you have to book from the comment section. Thank you. Now, another program or another school, remember the school I just talked about has master's degree programs. So you should understand that that is how it is. And the tuition fee is 363 euros. The next school is called Paris Laudron University. And this school is located in the city of Salzburg. The next school is called Donube Private University. I, I, I beg your pardon. It is called Donube University. And this is a private school. The other two are public institutions. Then we also have Music of Art University in Austria. This is equally a private school. So please, these are schools that do not require legalization before admissions. Rush them and we meet again in another one.